And I said, that's not EU4 Art of War multiplayer. That's my that's wife. That's your mom. Oh. oh. Well, Damn. welcome back, everybody. Mathis Aruma Quill, Northern Lion. <laughs> Shit's Hell getting it like cray it cray. Is. Shit's getting cray cray. Episode two, already losing focus. <laughs> I'm about to Hold about it. to dominate my sore. <laughs> All right, I'm everyone's excited. got health issues. Don't <laughs> talk about it. I was watching a uh, documentary this week, and they, they talked about my sore, and I was like, I know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you just a smarty pants? I'm just happy I won a pretty significant war with starting with under a thousand manpower. Wow. Yeah, that's big. I still have less than a thousand. It does manpower. suck that Bengal ended up getting uh, winning that and growing. But yeah, but it's okay because when when we go, like at some point we'll go and tear it apart half mm -hmm. and half, and then we'll be touching, and then we'll start to hate each other. <laughs> Stop true. touching me! Stop this touching is, this me! This is my side of the seat. That's your side of the seat. Not Peace allowed to cross. From Vinod. The hell, of Vinod? How many people are you at war with? Oh, uh, well, all of his vassals too. So. Oh yeah, all right. We'll play. We'll play the game. What do we want? Vinod. Hey, what's up, buddy? What do you got for me? Release, Giant. release Marai <clears throat> as a sovereign state. Oh, it's so hard to steal like vassals out from under the powers beside me because of the Coptic religion. Just convert, man. It's a sign of the yeah. times. Everybody, the the world's going Shia, man. <laughs> You're sign. going Shia. Why would you go Shia? I don't. I can't go Shia, but you know the the people around me are Shia. Oh no. Well, mm -hmm. I guess the Mamluks are Sunni. Yeah, probably Sunni would be a smarter choice. Hey, my sore. What up, buddy? I'm really paranoid mm -hmm. that this this week is going to be like five videos of me just waiting until these truce timers run out. <laughs> we do get through like three or four years at a time, each video. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's going relatively quickly. Plus, I mean, I can't really be mad. I have 69, or I'm 69th place. So, yeah. like, basically, nice. it's just tailor-made for me right now. I've gone up to 73 from 74. <laughs> I'll get you, Northern Lion. So instead Real of being at like 1.0047, you're at like 1.0059 or something. I guess. Right, can I not get any trade power over here? Why is that? Did I not send my ships over to this node? Alright, time to eat them up. Thank you. I know I got a negative modifier from being overextended. There we are. So yeah, I gotta wait for my admin power to go so I can core these two places. I gotta integrate a hundred thousand different vassals. Well, vagina gar is not looking so hot. Oh, and oh, I wanted wow. to unmarch Ligor. Holy crap! Look at them. Look at that border gore. <laughs> <laughs> you even left them like an isolated province. That's the capital. I couldn't oh, take it. Oh, okay. I'm sure they're gonna move that bad boy. <laughs> okay, it's on. Fighting all the bad guys, everyone. All the bad guys. Are you fighting the Mamluks? No. <laughs> I wish, I was, <laughs> wish I had expanded that far. Just checking. Holy no, crap. I'm just fighting. You know, pretty much all the other natives around here. I've got a little coalition basically against me. Oh, Quill, you were talking about flags last time. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was gonna say, have you heard of this game called GeoGuessr? Oh my god! Half the time it just puts you out in the middle of like Australia's yeah. desert. All like, right. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I love that it's game. A big continent it makes me so self-conscious because of the flag thing. I always think like I have a pretty good knowledge of flags, and then mm -hmm. you know I see a flag and it's half folded in the wind, and I'm like, oh man, is that like Denmark, Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, like? I have no idea. Well, probably Switzerland is a little easier, but you get the idea. It's fun. Every time I get one, I like look and like look at the road and like the coast and the houses and how they're built. I'm like, that looks like Newfoundland. It's probably <laughs> Norway, and Dude, it is. Yeah, Norway. The game is a huge hard on for Norway and Australia. Mm -hmm. Australia is just impossible because if you the cities are three thousand kilometers apart, apparently. 
So if anyone watching doesn't know what this game is, it's like it basically uses Google Maps, like the street view kind of thing, and it drops you somewhere random in the world. Yeah. And just by like navigating around on the street view, you got to figure out where you are. Yeah, you kind of like place a based on visual a references point on a on a map to to guess where you are. Yeah. And it times you, and then it gives you a points based on how far away, like how many meters. We did uh, one yesterday, and there were like user submitted challenges, and this one was a. Uh, it, every picture that it started you with, you were in view of a McDonald's. And, <laughs> like, the first one was, like, there was, like, an Arby's, a McDonald's, uh, like, a A&W or something, all in, like, a strip mall type setting. We're like, okay, that's, like, America somewhere. And then the second one, literally, I was like, oh, that's Broadway and Granville in Vancouver. Like, it was just oh, that's funny. down the street, basically. It's like, this was the easiest GeoGuessr play I've ever had. I like that idea of the theme. Yeah, there's been some cool ones. Or like, there's another one that was like, you always start inside. You just kind of have to like use the visual clues from inside of like an establishment to figure out where you are, which is really hard. Vinod, <laughs> where's Vinod? They insulted me. That's probably really bad for their health. Vinod is at the <laughs> tip. A little gray bit. Oh my god. Yeah. They're so small. Careful, oh, they're alive to the Yannick jar. I'm at, uh, <laughs> it's scary. I'm at peace with them for a while though. They're outraged at me. La di da. This is your big jerk. Oh, I should check my coalition map mode. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it helps that I just I have a truce with some of the people who had coalition me. Coalition map. Mode. I sure hope my vassals can win this war for me. If yeah. they don't, I'm in trouble. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm still feeding vassals a lot. They're like kind of my plan. And they're strong, but not very coordinated. Mm -hmm. Black news indeed. Our people are losing confidence in the government stability drop. Does your ruler die? Yep. Do you have a regents to council? No. Uh, oh, damn it. Yep, I do. Oh, yes. Why is that good? Slow down a little bit, mister. Oh, uh, gotcha. How I'm coming across the sea like a Weezer song to steal some of your land. Wait, this hey, isn't 21. Honest, 21. Why did it tell me I have my tutors are not ready for him to rule? Maybe he's just exceptionally stupid. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna wait an extra 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't be in a Regency Council. There's no way. So my vassals have hostile opinions of me. I really just want to get to my first idea, but I keep needing to spend admin power like crazy. You don't have an idea yet. Wow. No, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in mid tech three. You guys have ideas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on tech oh, well. two. You do have level six uh, military, though, Mathis, and it's a little scary. Yeah, well, that's where like a lot of it's going is just military. Which is fine. I'm okay with that, but I'd like to get an idea. But I just ate up a huge country, so I need to core so many people. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring overextension under 100% and then just save points. That's my goal. Your Can overextension's we... above 100? Barely, but yeah. Oh, come on, rebellions. <laughs> I, have a yeah. pretty, I have a decent <laughs> army, though. Sounds like Mathis is going to need to pick a new country. Yeah. <laughs> overextension over 100 now, since rebellions aren't... Well, I guess it, random rebellion events can still happen. I guess yeah, that's what the it... overextension will do for you, yeah, and then it'll scale. Yeah, what, I, what happened is um, carrying for the vultures got changed. Remember how that used to just spawn a random rebellion? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Caring for the rebellion or caring for the vultures increases local revolt risk by like fifteen percent in a province. Oh, that's, that's, that's it's a lot. one of the one of the ones that like ticks down a little bit every day or every month. Every so time I, I see this province called Nan, like N A N, I'm like it's Nan. it's some sort of JavaScript math error, like Nan. Oh, <laughs> if you try to like divide by zero or something, you get this sort of error. So, nah, I just think Indian food. Yeah, there's <laughs> missing an A, but. Yeah. Bishop Honestly, missing. Best. It's been a long while since now since the last bishop of Ethiopia died and we requested a successor from Alexandria. Could the Mamluks be interfering? The only option. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that a lot. It's like lose one stability, your opinion with them suffers. Okay. <laughs> All right. loans do I have? Just one more loan. And I got three years. Excellent. 
And I'm just going to sit around and wait. Anyone who's watching my videos is not going to get a very exciting time. Yeah, you know, mine, mine's just watching sieges at this point. <laughs> Which is fun, right? Did it capture a ship or something? Just so you guys know, I'm, I have done my second war of Songhaiian aggression. Oh, wow. Quill probably knows what that means, right? Hey, new heir to the throne. Um, no. A, two, a, war, a war of aggression? Is, no it's not the coalition, is it? No, it's a no CB war. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I, I think I've only ever done one once. Usually it's it's good to uh, be aggressive. Yes, I suppose that's true. If you're already at minus one stability, or minus three stability, who cares, right? Might as well, yeah. Alright, I gotta issue some embargoes. How strong are you? You can't be very strong. Even though you got kill in your name, Kilwa. I uh, think it's all for show. 134 manpower. That's not good for you. Hey, that's not very nice. Well, we're we're rivals, so that's true. Want you embark him? Yeah. Well, it seems reasonable to me. <laughs> that's I th what I, I thought. I already had you embargoed, actually. So. Oh snap! <laughs> yeah, just I don't know why I wasn't embarking you, and then uh, Bengal is a new rival. A call to so arms. To to yet. The nation oh. of Jean Pur, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid. Against someone. Awful, I hope. Probably not. They're probably picking on a one province. Uh, they're minor. picking on. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't really Called matter. It. Sorry, can't help you. Oh, I guess we still gotta need more. Mm -hmm. Gotta help my vassal with his rebel problems. He must have picked up some land from someone at some point. Oh my God! I have no morale. Shut. <laughs> I forgot my maintenance. There really needs to be a warning. Warning, you're about to attack a stack with no maintenance. Are you sure you want to do this? I don't the little even... war pop-up is nice, but oh god. If I have good income, I don't even turn it down anymore, because I just make that mistake way too often. Yeah. yeah. Well, the cost is pretty high right now, because I have a lot of mercs. I think I'm still going to win this battle somehow. Despite having minus two and zero morale going into it. Helps having wow. higher base morale. My vassals are complete idiots. They're just complete idiots. We had a... Okay, I had a, a province being sieged. 49% chance of taking it, right? Walls are already breached. Did so they, they assault. They oh. assaulted. Instead of just waiting like a month, they assaulted, <laughs> and, and we have no morale, and now we're under attack. <laughs> yeah, because then is, they just pop out with their defenders. That is so dumb. Oh, wow. I can't believe they did that. You know, let me go ahead and consolidate. That'll be fine. I have to use that consolidate button a lot today because uh, no manpower. I used to use you it know, all the time. I actually really like that button now, especially mm -hmm. with the patch now that you can actually uh, just create oh, new armies. Come so. on. <laughs> yeah, because like, you can wait for them to, to be reinforced and pay the cost to reinforce them, or you can consolidate and just build new regiments. When Which I use that button the all the time. People There's a time like, and a place. It's not good. And now I've, I've stopped using it except in, you know, the most specific situations. And now you're saying it's good. It is good. I know. Sometimes. But still. In the right, the right time. <laughs> you just don't understand the complexity. It's very true. I, I mean, I understand it more now. But previously I was just like, I'm losing a lot of money. Click. <laughs> not losing money yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay it later, I guess. Oh, right, and I wasn't reinforcing because I had zero maintenance. Whoa. What the hell's going on there? What? My uh, army maintenance slider just decided to go crazy. Like, was like jumping back and forth without any input from me. But yeah, the other thing I forget when I turn down my maintenance is I gotta leave it just above zero so at least the army, like, very slowly reinforces. Oh, yeah. On the other hand, getting my manpower pool would be good, or getting it up would be good to avoid any sort of negative events. Uh, 
right, I got my guy back, so let's go back to... That's him being annexed. What about this guy? One hell of a scroll wheel you got there. Oh, yeah. I done this sooner. <laughs> Sounds like you're having some Mathis microphone issues. Um, <laughs> oh, it's because I don't have my uh, my noise gate filter going on anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah that can have to I hear you mumbling to yourself a lot more often now. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Isn't that... I mean, it, it's it's hard to go back to unprocessed audio after you had it live. It's, mm -hmm. it's really quite nice. I'll have to get a hardware solution like you've got. you got yeah. like a machine or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I bought one. It's um, basically does all the same stuff that the VSD host used to do, but externally. It's a little bit different, though. I kind of liked VSD host a little bit better, but this one just, you know, works. I, I love VSD host when it worked. And it's not VSD host. It's ACO for all that is glitchy. Even if I turn off all the filters in VSD, it still doesn't work properly. But I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Don't lose this naval battle. I just built those ships. Well, when you're my vassal, they'll be mine anyway, so... Fair enough. Have it your way. Is this a Burger King commercial? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. Is that Burger King or McDonald's? I can never remember. So they're all their advertising, like... It's not McDonald's, because the whole thing is the idea that, like, McDonald's is a cookie-cutter build. Ah. Uh, but at Burger King or whatever, you can choose your own toppings. Yeah. I see. Well, I do prefer the McDonald's onions. They're the diced. onions, specifically. <laughs> yeah. They're diced onions. They're better. They're better that way. Oh, yes. than big rings or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more balanced flavor. Oh, okay, I'll no. buy that. No, no, no. I'm talking about the... In, in the burgers, the, mm -hmm. the onions yes. are... Diced. Yes, as opposed to like rings of onions. Like Correct. Yeah, Burger yeah. King does it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Because this way it's more evenly distributed when it's little diced things. Yes. Although I gotta say, there's a place near my house that puts onion rings, like, you know, like battered onion rings on burgers. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm for that. I've had some I'll never go back. delicious burgers and sandwiches in that area. And I like it because I think it's a good stepping stone to make putting like a thin layer of potato chips on a burger culturally mm -hmm. acceptable, which is something I shamefully do in the privacy of my own home from time to time, but can never <laughs> tell anybody about. I do that in sandwiches all the time. That crunchy layer oh, in the middle? yeah. Hmm. And people are like, oh, it's super unhealthy. Man, you put like four potato chips on a sandwich, you're going to be fine. You don't need to put like a, a, a serving bag. size. <laughs> you're already eating like two pieces of bread. I think you'll be mm -hmm. okay. Well, it's still better than, uh, what's the, the, is it a Scottish thing, the chip buddy? Mm. Where it's lit a sandwich, it's like, you take a piece of bread, you take out like a bun, and you fill it with potato chips, like french fries. And there you go, there's your sandwich. Like that and ketchup. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's ketchup involved. <laughs> just like, Jesus. Do I, that, just thinking about eating that sandwich gives me the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> and heartburn. Yeah, that, like, I don't feel good thinking about it. Let's say this, like, Scottish food gets a lot of crap. For it, People say, oh, it's not good. It's not good for you. But it tastes good. It's good in your mouth. Because <laughs> it's all like that. It's all like deep fried, unhealthy comfort food. Yeah, whenever I see a picture of someone's like, like I'm in Edinburgh, check out my breakfast. And it's just like a brown plate. <laughs> I, I love the way you said the name that city. Was it, You're going to get so many comments. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah. Look, I played a bunch of Project Gotham Racing too. I can so say you're a professional. Exactly. Yeah, and, uh, mm -hmm, okay. Spent all my time on Castle 8. Ming is covered in Ming peasants. All stripied. <laughs> I like to see that. Anything that hurts Ming is good for me. <clears throat> I don't know what my next target's going to be. That sounds, uh, must be hard for you. I need a subjugation CB on Bengal. That would be really, really nice. Because they're obviously just, too big to vassalize as is. You could just do a war of aggression. That's true. <laughs> Those work pretty well, usually. Well, not only, but that would also be truth-breaking. That's not just a no-CB war. That's like, what, minus seven stability yeah. then? 
Because it's no minus two for no CB and minus five for breaking a truce. Sounds but good. Listen, if I happen to fall at the negative uh, stability, I might just go ahead and do that. But today is not the day. All right. And then we're going to get, like, Bomanis joining a coalition against me. <laughs> there should be another well, rule. Like, no coalitions for a few weeks anyway. But anyway. Yeah, I'm ready if you guys are. Always. Mm-hmm. Just let me consult this handy-dandy, like, incredibly potent ledger here that was given to me by the Ethiopian lords. All right, seems all right. You have super spies. Pretty much, yeah. I know, th I can... Tell me, how many men to the singles column does the army of Austria have right now? Anyway. Everyone's good? Totally good. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thanks for watching. Wait, Mattis, I didn't check. Are you good? I'm good. All right, just making sure. No worries, man. I know you're a little high maintenance sometimes, uh, but I, <laughs> I just don't want to be shouted at. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.